attorney's office. Um, yes, ma'am. Is this the Lowndes County District Attorney's Office? It is. Okay. Um, my name is April Metcalf, and I am with Lowndes County Accountability. It's a news media outlet. I was wondering if I could speak to Mr. Colomb or Mr. Rush if they're in the office and they're available for comment. Okay, Mr. Colomb is in a meeting with Mr. Rush. Is. Hold on just a moment. Okay, thank you. Um, yes, this is Mr. Ben Rush. No, this is Okay, this is April Metcalf. I'm with Expo News Media. It's a news media outlet on YouTube. Um, I was just wanting to know, I'm writing a dissertation paper as I'm applying to um, MC School of Law, and you or Mr. Colon came as a highly recommended, and I just have a couple of questions for you if you're available for comment. Okay, is it, is it about a pending case or a past case? Oh, it's a past case. It's not really okay. a case, and it's just general questions for your oh, okay, office. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so um, I was just wanting to know, is it um, common practice of this DA's office to use known criminals to present testimony that mitigates their involvement in a crime, even when video evidence is contrary to that testimony? Uh, I don't know which case you're referring to. Well, it's just a general question. It's, it just yeah, it, it depends on the facts of the case. I, I don't. I will have to see the case, case-by-case case basis. Okay. Uh, but, you know, um, when you say known, using a known criminal. Yes. Someone, you know, who, what, what, someone who has pending, like if someone has pending charges. Yeah, it happens all the time. You have several different co-defendants that commit a crime together, and uh, one of the co-defendants testify against another co-defendant, and that's, that's practice, prosecu uh, prosecutorial practice from around the country since the beginning of uh, – of law. I mean, you have uh, m multiple defendants and another individual uh, testifies about not only his involvement, but the other defendant, mm -hmm. if they decide to go to trial involvement as well. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And, you know, <clears throat> sometimes they're the best witness because they actually participated in the crime. Right. Okay, um, let me just, okay, this is the second question. This is just, this is the last one. If an innocent person was able to show that his conviction was obtained through the use of spurious testimonial evidence by one of your deputies, would you recommend be be re, would you recommend that that conviction be overturned in the interest of justice? Uh, it depends. I, I don't know what you mean by spurious. Uh, I mean frivolous. I mean, what 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 are you spurious is fake or fraudulent testimony? I mean, in in what regard? If if they say that. It, if 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 you're if if someone's testimony was fraudulent, then they will be subject to perjury. Right. Okay. Yeah. If they if you testify falsely, if you go under oath, you raise your right hand, mm -hmm. and you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, then they'd be subject to perjury. But under who who's determining whether that person or individual testimony is false? Is it the person accused? Of course, they're gonna say, "Well, they're lying on me." Is there other outside evidence to show that that person's testimony was false other than the accused saying that he lied. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's, that's a big part of it. it okay. I know, of course, we have people, well, he's not telling the truth on me, but is there other evidence that we can show? Video evidence, testimonial evidence, audio evidence, written evidence to show that that law enforcement officer was lying other than the accused or the accused family. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Rush. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. Hey, what's your name again? April Metcalf. April Metcalf? Uh-huh. And who are you with? Expo News Media. It's a YouTube channel. Expo uh, News Media? Yes, sir. Okay. And you said you were doing a dissertation? Yes, sir. Okay. What is it for, the dissertation? Because I'm a, I am, um... I'm actually going applying to law school. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. You said you're applying to law school. Okay, mm -hmm. well, good luck with that. Thank April. you. Thank you so much. Yeah, good, good, good luck with it. And I understand, you know, um, you know, um, just some of the issues we have, you know. Um, but that's good, though. Uh, that's that's good. You know, hopefully you can 
you'll be successful and get into law school. That'd be great. Thank you, Mr. Rush. You have a great day. All right. All right, you too. Thank you. Thank All right. You.